All right, well hello and welcome back to the channel. Appreciate you joining me once again. Uh, this is day, what are we, day four now in uh, Rocky Mountain National Park. Uh, today we're gonna be taking you through the park. We're gonna be backpacking with my buddies Dan and Sam. And we are gonna be backpacking from Sprague Lake, which is kind of in the northeastern uh, part of the park. And we're gonna go about three, four miles in, uh, pretty deep into the bush. And we are gonna be camping out at the uh, Windy Bluffs or Windy River, I can't remember, uh, campsite. But uh, yeah, we just are leaving the truck and getting our bags ready, and uh, then we are gonna hit the trail. We're really excited about it, beautiful weather, and it's gonna be a good time. Let's get to it. folks and just like that we are off starting the trail got Dan behind me Daniel say hello to the people what's up, what's up Lonan level Sanders <laughs> thank you thank you on? Sam you want to say hello, hello. To, the, to the people back home Hi, thank you. <laughs> all right we are on our way we are parked we are headed past Sprig Lake and we are going uh, deep into the woods let's do it Not even five minutes in, and we're already seeing a moose right here in Sprague Lake. Kind of see him off to the right there. Very cool. So one thing we learned up here in the couple days we've been here so far, to get up here, it is very dry. It's very dusty too, almost tripped there. And so these gators wearing them over your face, like the, uh, the long lost days of COVID, actually does a lot to help keep it from your throat from just getting completely wrecked. And uh, just a little more comfortable that way. It also keeps the sun off your back and your neck. Our necks are not looking good. We got super burnt yesterday, but uh, we're having fun and that's what matters. Crack on. What a beautiful day so far, absolutely perfect. Um, to those of you that uh, are unfamiliar with like backpacking or like what that means, it basically means like you're going in, you're camping in the woods, wherever that may be, but you have to carry everything with you. So no like, there's no cars, nothing else, everything has to go on your back. So in this giant pack, I've got like my tent, I've got my sleeping bag, I've got all my food, uh, water, water filtration system, a uh, little portable weather radio, bear spray, you know, everything you could need, um, you have to have with you on your back. So right now I'm rocking about, I think it's like 45, 50 pounds. 
just on the heavier end. It's definitely not like ultra light, but um, we want to be comfortable when we get out there and make sure that we've uh, got everything we need. So um, there's also a bear barrel that uh, Sam's carrying. I don't know if you noticed that giant black barrel in his pack. Uh, it's actually a park regulation. You have to have that out here. Um, we're going in one of the parts of the park that are known for bear and moose and wildlife activity. So got to have every, all your food. Um, Anything that smells like food, yeah, even toothpaste, um, has to go in that barrel. Otherwise, uh, you're going to have some visitors at night, and that's not going to be a good time. <laughs> so, um, but yeah, it's just a beautiful day, and we're pretty much all alone out here. Um, and the farther we get, the more alone we'll be, and that's how we like it. Keep moving along. So all down there on the ground, those are wild berry plants. Blueberries, mostly. That is what bears like to eat. Well, after a couple wrong turns and some pretty serious hikes and a lot of sweat, we made it. And uh, that is thanks to the guidance and wisdom of my good friend Dan over here. Dan credits go to you for finding this campsite. Yeah, we're just going to break it down and then uh, get camp set up. First order of business can be water and then, uh, yeah, we'll show you how it's done. Take a tumble. All right, just like that, through the power of editing, our camp is set up, um, or at least my camp is. Uh, Dan and Sam, they're still finishing up the final touches, but we'll show you their, their sights here in a little bit. But yeah, real simple, just uh, everything you have in your backpack. Um, you know, I've got a little, this is kind of bougie, but I've got a little uh, foldable ultralight chair that I like to sit on. It's pretty handy. And then you've got like the tent. The tent itself only weighs like three, maybe four pounds. Pop in here, got a couple inflatable pillows, nothing crazy, my extra warm clothes back there. It's supposed to get pretty cold tonight. This is a zero degree synthetic down uh, sleeping bag, emphasis on synthetic. Uh, do not use the actual goose down. Um, got the inflatable pad, which is nice, ultra light on that as well. And then the thermal pad that separates you from the ground. So. Again, not luxury, it's about, it's kind of got a coffin feel to it a little bit, but you don't need much out here. 
it's just to sleep in and uh, just for shelter in case it rains so but beautiful campsite we are up here in the mountains we are completely alone it's a good feeling and you know we carried everything in and we're gonna carry everything out so um, we already got water going I showed you the gravity bag a little while ago um, there's a little creek that's a little bit down from us that we got water from it's probably safe to drink but uh, we filtered it anyway just to be safe that was the gravity bag setup I showed you um, but yeah, we're just getting comfortable, getting set up, and uh, we'll uh, check back in on the other sites, and here in a few minutes we'll get uh, dinner going and uh, get the rum pouring. Here's another little uh, feature I want to talk about. This is the Garmin InReach Mini. Uh, this is a global satellite phone, and when you get out like really far like this, obviously there's no cell service of any kind. Um, you're kind of on your own. It's nice to have one of these in case you run into like a real emergency, um, you can SOS for help. It'll call Garmin's headquarters basically. It'll give them your GPS location and basically send in search and rescue. Um, you definitely don't want to use that unless you absolutely have to because it, uh, it basically calls in the troops um, and that could be like tens of thousands of dollars. So it's only if you're like really, really dying, push that SOS button right there on the side. You hold that down for 10 seconds and then uh, that calls in the cavalry. But uh, the real reason I like it, you can get a GPS location, you get your elevation. Uh, we're at 8,720 feet right now, which is pretty steep. Um, get, uh, you can get weather reports um, sent in from Garmin headquarters. Um, you can also send preset like text messages. You can send real text messages too. They take forever <laughs> to type out. Um, but yeah, you can basically text anybody on earth. And this works from the top of the Rocky Mountains, where we're at now to the middle of the Pacific Ocean, to the middle of the Sahara Desert. Um, it works globally. So uh, pretty amazing technology and uh, it's a nice thing to have. Um, definitely makes you feel a little safer having it. So, And while we're on the subject of uh, safety and security and everything else, um, another absolute must have when you're in the Rocky Mountains or anywhere where there's bears, you gotta have bear spray. Um, you can get this from any like sporting goods store. It's usually like 20, 30 bucks a pop. Um, but uh, this one was actually produced by a guy who was the victim of a grizzly attack. And you can see his face. It's not looking great. So um, always have this on you. Uh, we are in bear country. This is their territory. We have to be respectful of that. Uh, we have to be really careful about food. We have a, a bear barrel that we brought out that's like you lock it and it's scent proof basically. Um, but any food at all, they will smell that and they'll come looking for it. Um, so you got to be really, really damn careful out here. There's also mountain lions, uh, there's moose, um, there are elk, which sometimes can be aggressive. So again, it's pretty rare that anything happens, but it's good to have these things and it's good to be prepared and just be cautious of your surroundings. Um, these things happen and people do, people do die out here. So let's go check on the boys and uh, see how their camp's coming along. Um, all right, looks like Sam has got his camp showed up, so I'm gonna, or all set up, so I'm gonna go ahead and give you a little tour. Sam's an Eagle Scout, and uh, he's very experienced. He's been doing this for, with us for years. But yeah, let's take a look at his setup. It's Dan over there to the right getting some uh, stuff out of the bear barrel. He's got the REI two-man tent, which is nice. Got a pretty good setup in there. He's got a lot of space, actually. He opted to uh, um, carry the heavier tent because he's a big, strong guy and uh, get, have a little more space, a little more comfort. So he's going to be sleeping in real luxury tonight. All right, Sam, you want to say anything to the folks at home or say hello to your mom or anything? I think I already said hi to my mom, but um, yeah, I'm glad we made it to the camp. It's, it's pretty nice. Should be fun to, you know, cook dinner and hang out here. So I'm excited. Cool. I'm excited too. All right, well, we are finally good and comfortable. We are sitting around uh, eating our lovely dehydrated meals and uh, sun's starting to go down and just enjoying it. Just enjoying being on the side of the mountain. But uh, um, yeah, we saw Sam set up. Dan's setup's pretty similar. Uh, he's got the same backpacking tent as I've got. A lot of the same equipment, but uh, Dan would love to get your thoughts on how the day's going and how the trip's gone so far. Yeah, so it was, uh, it was a good hike in and everything today. Uh, 
we had our had our you know wrong turns and everything, but it ended up working out. We got a good camp here, and uh, feels good to finally rest and get some some food. It's kind of what it's all about, you know. Um, really makes you appreciate the the niceties of life they have back in the in the real world, you know. Um, but so yeah, it's gonna be a nice nice night out here. We might stick our feet in the river or something and uh, have a, have a good time. Cool. Amen to that. I think uh, that might be the next little thing we do. So keep on cracking. Mostly sunny. Highs around 90. Thursday night, mostly clear. Lows near 60. Southeast winds 10 to 15 miles an hour in the evening, becoming light. gonna cry when you're gone the sun is going down we have secured everything all food all tooth uh, toothpaste deodorant anything whatsoever right here in this bear barrel and then we locked it shut as is the regulation and as is the smart thing to do and then buddy Dan and I are gonna go put this out comfortably away from where we are sleeping because we do not want any visitors in the middle of the night we're actually going to use my belt right here and we're going to fasten it to a tree just in case they decide to get playful. Folks, that uh, that takes us to the end of the video. Um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. I mean, yeah, we certainly did. Uh, it's a great feeling just being up here completely alone. Just up in the mountains, it's just beauty all around you. It's it's just spectacular. You know, it's, it's like the ultimate freedom. Um, it's a, it's a lot of hard work and it's it's really difficult sometimes. But once the sun starts to set and you're sitting around the uh, sitting around, you know, having a meal with your friends and just enjoying the peace and the serenity and the, 
um, just unrivaled beauty. I mean, the Rocky Mountains are just spectacular. Um, you you got to get out here, and it really is beautiful. But, uh, but yeah, I'm all in for the night. Nice and cozy in my uh, claustrophobic little tent, but I like it. And, um, yeah, I really appreciate you guys coming along. And, uh, you know, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. Um, if you consider subscribing, I'd really appreciate it. Um, you know, my subscriber count continues to grow and it's, it, it really is surprising me, um, how fast it's taken off. And I'm just extremely grateful that, uh, that you take the time to watch these videos and, um, sharing these moments with me. So thank you very much for that. Other than that, we'll call it there. Have a good night and, uh, I will see you next time. Bye-bye.